Okay, so here is our first battle arena, Beaver Brawl. This is the arena, and your goal is to basically kill all the enemies. You can't actually kill them all, though, because they'll just keep respawning. It's more so just surviving until the timer runs out. And by surviving, I mean don't lose all your health, and don't fall off the course either. And, uh, both of those will actually you know, disqualify you. Uh, you can get hit, though. Look right there, but obviously you get hit several times. Otherwise, you'll lose. But after you win, you get a battle crown. Uh, battle crowns are another collectible you can get in this game. There are ten altogether. I believe you only need four to completely beat the game, though. So, in that retrospect, they're kind of useless, but uh, they are another collectible that, while you do not need all of them, I will be collecting all of them. Okay, so over here we have Funky's Armory. And this will introduce one method of combat we can use throughout the game. Instead of using transport vehicles, like he did in the Donkey Kong Country games, uh, Funky has actually switched to another occupation, selling dangerous firearms to monkeys. So we'll pay three coins for the Coconut Shooter. Basically, to use the Coconut Shooter, all you have to do is hold the Z button and then hit the C left button, and you will activate the Coconut Shooter. Um, you just press B to fire, and then you can also press the um, C up button to actually, you know, get an aiming sight. And that's basically what you use the Coconut Shooter for. You can use it to hit enemies, but you can also use it to hit targets. Its main use will be to hit targets. But yeah, that's the coconut shooter. Look, I'm firing coconuts! Yay! I'm going coconuts for coconuts. And we'll just fire at Funky's Armory for no reason. Anyways, let's swing over here and let's actually go rescue Diddy Kong like I kind of set out to do, but I never haven't actually done anything with that just yet. Climb up this tree for another banana bunch. I think I'll at least try to get all 100 bananas in this world for every Kong, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, here's our good friend Diddy Kong, unfortunately he's locked behind this gate, but there is a golden banana right in front of him, so we will take that. And he will actually give us a hint about how we can release him from the cage, and almost on cue, three coconut switches appear. So we have to hit all three of those, and once we do that, Diddy Kong will be free. Um, grab those crates if you ever need to restore your ammo for your coconut shooter, or whatever shooter you may have, because as you can see right there, the weapons actually vary from Kong to Kong. Over here we have another building that we'll be seeing in pretty much the majority of the levels, Snide's HQ. Snide is a weasel. He actually used to work for King K. Rule, but King K. Rule didn't trust him, so he kicked him out of his crew. Uh, Snide actually had a big part in making the giant weapon that's supposed to destroy our island, and because he's mad at K. Rule, he's going to help us destroy it. Uh, the only catch is we have to bring him blueprints of the machine. In every level, there are five enemies that have the blueprints. They're all the same enemies. And there is one blueprint for each Kong, so... Yeah, we have to collect the bl blueprints in addition to the golden bananas. Although, conveniently, if you give a blueprint to Snide, he will give you a golden banana, so... Um, basically, each blueprint is worth one golden banana, so you want to make sure you collect those as well. Um, I'm not going to be turning in the blueprints... Um, until I'm completely finished with each level. I know in the last game, in my first playthrough, I didn't turn in the blueprints until like the very end of the game when I actually, you know, needed the blueprints. But um, I think in this playthrough, I, may, I am going to go, you know, throughout the game and, you know, turn them in. Okay, so now that we're done with that, we need to hit the coconut switches. So let's go ahead and jump down here. Oh, wait, dang. I didn't mean to jump down there. Uh, I meant to actually stay up there because... I can only get one of the switches from up this ledger up here. Okay, so let's go back over here. Yeah, you can only hit the switch down here from the sides of these two mountains. Because you can't actually hit it across the water, it's way too far. Okay, 
Okay, so we got that done. Let's go over here now. And hit the second switch, which is over here. And also, while I'm over here, I'll also get this uh, banana balloon that's been staring at me for the longest time now. And after that, we can go ahead and take this banana port to the other side of the uh, main area. So I can hit this third one. So I'm actually kind of glad I got that banana port when I did. And with that, Diddy Kong is free. And to reward us, he'll give us a golden banana of his own. And now we can actually use Diddy Kong whenever we want. All we have to do is go to a tag barrel and activate him. However, I'm not going to use Diddy Kong just yet. I'm going to wait until I actually... Uh, finish up all I need to do with Donkey Kong before I actually take Diddy Kong out. But don't worry, I will probably get to uh, Diddy Kong in this video, maybe, if I'm lucky. And, oh wait, I have to go back and get the banana before the gates actually open. That kind of sucks. Okay, game, we'll do it your way. And yes, if you couldn't tell, there are now red bananas that actually appear throughout the level. A lot of the stuff in this game is actually color-coded. Um, yellow is Donkey Kong's color, and red is Diddy Kong's color. So if you see yellow coins, bananas, or blueprints, uh, they belong to Donkey Kong. If you see red coins, bananas, or blueprints, they belong to Diddy Kong. And then, of course, there's also blue, uh, purple, and green items as well, which belong to the other three Kongs once we unlock them. So yeah, pay attention where um, you see a bunch of different colored things, so you know when to come back with a different Kong. So we'll go throughout this long hallway right here, and at the end we'll see Cranky Kong. So yes, we will be paying another visit to Cranky Kong in this video. And we'll actually get a new move. Before I do that, oh damn it, I didn't mean to warp right there. I'm going to have to pull out my coconut shooter so I can get that um, banana balloon. Okay, let's try this again. And there we go. And we are, we're almost done with uh, getting DK's banana metal. I think there are some bananas in these trees. Well, maybe not. I thought there was, though. I might be thinking of someone else. Okay, whatever. We'll just kill these beavers and then we'll... Let me just check this tree, though. Nope. Okay, I'm delirious, apparently. Okay, so inside this gate right here... You actually see an animal crate, which belongs to Rambi the Rhino. Rambi the Rhino is a long friend of ours from Donkey Kong Country. However, this is the only level where we'll actually get to see him and use him. Uh, the animal friends really don't play much of a factor in this game. There's only two of them, and they only appear twice. And like when I say twice, I mean like... You see one here, and then you see one in another level, but that's it, really. So what we need to do with Rambi right here is we need to hit all of these um, huts. We need to destroy them. Because under them, there are switches, character switches. And we can use those switches to get some more third bananas, so it's important that we do that. Uh, something else we need to do is we need to take Rambi down this little hallway right here. Turn to the left as soon as you can, and you'll find a giant... Rambi block. Hold Z to supercharge, then press the B button and you can destroy it very easily. And after that, we're pretty much done with Rambi. There's nothing else we really have to do with him. So, uh, let's go back to the main area and turn back into Donkey Kong. You turn back into Donkey Kong simply by pressing the C left button. Or, well, yeah, I think you hold the Z button and then press C left. Okay, so we are now back at Cranky's lab and we're going to get our second potion of the game. So, let's spend our three coins to actually obtain it. And we learn the Baboon Blast, also known as the Barrelum Perilous. I love those cool little nicknames they have for the moves. It's kind of funny. Anyways, uh, with Cranky Kong, each Kong has three specific special moves they can learn throughout the game. Uh, one move is usually activated by a simple button press. Uh, the second move is activated by a character barrel 
and the third is activated by a character pad. Uh, the move we learned with Donkey Kong is a character pad move. And basically whenever we find a Donkey Kong pad we can use it and we can go into a barrel blasting force. Uh, that is DK's special move, or special pad move. Um, there's one DK pad per level, so you're guaranteed to do at least one barrel blasting course per world, so... It's kind of cool how they kept that element in from Donkey Kong Country, because, you know, barrel blasting is one of the main game mechanics. It's kind of cool how they kept that in here for Donkey Kong 64. Anyways, once you pound the character switch that we uncovered with Rambi, um, you unlock this golden banana over here. And I believe all of the other Kongs have bananas that can be gotten in the same exact way. Uh, the only difference is, I think DK's is the only one that isn't timed. I believe the other characters do have a time limit to get their banana. But that shouldn't be a big deal. Anyways, on this tree over here, we have some vines, and if we go to the end of these vines, we have our DK space, or DK pad, whatever you want to call it. So we have our first barrel blasting course. Works just like it does in Donkey Kong Country. You gotta time yourself and then press the Z or B button when you're perfectly aligned with the next barrel. And yeah, you just shoot the, through this course. That's really all you have to do. Uh, this uh, barrel blasting course is a lot more straightforward than some of the later ones will be. And some of the later ones you can actually, you know, go to different, um... Did I just miss the golden banana? Yes, I did. I actually missed the golden banana, so... Gotta go through that again! But yeah, as I was saying, uh, some of the later barrel blasting courses, uh, they have branching paths where you can actually fire into one or two barrels and sometimes you'll end up in an endless loop that'll just you know take you in circles so you kind of have to figure out which is the correct barrel to go inside but on the whole though it's not a very difficult mechanic or anything a lot of these courses are pretty easy but there we go okay we got the banana this time i didn't screw it up this time thank god okay so we're almost done with donkey kong right now there is one more thing we're going to do very quickly though uh, we still have to get Donkey Kong's blueprint, and you can find the enemy you need to destroy right here. These enemies right here are called Kasplats. They are very muscular Kremlings. They can create shockwaves, or they can just, you know, punch you silly. All you have to do is destroy them, and they will drop a blueprint. And you got to pick up the blueprint using the Kong, whose color matches the blueprints. And you can tell which Kasplat you need to destroy based on the color of their hair. That Kasplat's hair was yellow, so logically we have to use Donkey Kong to destroy the Kasplat. And yeah, that's simple. And with that, we're actually done with Donkey Kong. We have one more golden banana to get with him, but that is the blueprint banana. And I'm not going to do that right now, I'm going to do that later on. Once I actually have all the characters unlocked. So we're going to start with Diddy Kong now. Squawks is going to explain something I already explained to you guys, so I'm not going to really worry about that. And before I actually do anything, I'm going to go ahead and collect some uh, red bananas with Diddy Kong. I think there are a few banana bunches on these trees over here. And I have no idea how I landed in the tag barrel right there. That was kind of a lucky jump. A lucky blind jump. A lucky blind jump into something I wasn't trying to jump into. And... Are there any bananas on this tree? I don't think there are, but I'm going to make sure anyways. Okay, no there's not. I kind of just wasted my time right there. Oh well. I'm going to go ahead and check the water for some collectibles as well. Okay, yeah, there are some coins down here. This is why it's important to really search these areas early on. Because it's really hard to get banana coins at first. But as, as I think I explained already, like, later on as we get through the game, you're not going to have to worry about them as much since they kind of, you know, hand them to you. But for now, they're important to collect and you probably should. 